dalam auditorium perpustakaan ini satu program pengantarabangsaan aktiviti di pusat semua sekolah sekolah dan tinggal bercara antara orang luar bersama pelajar antarabangsa Universiti Sultan Zainal Abidin SK Kemasin Bok Wan Momen Bertarikh 4 April 2015 ke tempat Dewan Auditorium Perpustakaan ini Anjuran Universiti Sultan Zainal Abidin Kuala Cukai dengan kerjasama GPN Terengganu dan GPN yang berusaha Encik Azman bin Osman, Elias Abdullah, Ketua Penolong Pengarah Bahasa Inggeris, Jabatan Pendidikan Negeri Terengganu. Tuan Haji Akram Elias Amir bin Abdul Majid, Penolong Pengarah Ketua Unit Perkhidmatan Sumber Pendidikan, Bahagian Teknologi Pendidikan Negeri Terengganu. Yang mulia Syarifah Asya binti Syed Osman, Head Mistress Sekolah Kebangsaan Kemasih, yang dihormati program moderator Sir Cornelius Anwar Abdul Ahmed Evi, teachers, invited panels from UNISA students, UNISA librarians and all the audience. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. In your seats, 12 years old. Assalamualaikum, my name is Mary Kalisa. You can just call me Kalisa. I am 12 years old. I'm from SK Kumasi. I live in Kumasi. I'm in year 6. Assalamualaikum. Hello everyone. My name is Siti Nur Aisha Saleha, but you can call me Aisha. I'm 12 years old. I'm in Year C. I'm studying at SK Kemasi. Assalamualaikum. My name is Patia Binti Abdul Hadi. I'm a teacher in SK Kemasi. I teach English. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Puan Sharifah Asya Binti Syed Usman. As a headmistress of SK Kemasik, proud to be here, join this program with Niza. Thanks all. And last but not least, Azman from Tegado uh, State Education Department. We're very happy to be here, and you blew me away with the direction. Thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you. My brothers like to read comics. My sister like to read ABC books because he's six years old, uh, and I like to read novels, like the Adam and Hawu novels. Very good. Um, I think one important point that you mentioned a lot is uh, you only like to read if it's interesting for you. Yes. If it's not interesting, then you, you, you don't want to do it. And that's one of the keys about reading and uh, developing a reading habit, reading culture. Find material to read that you're interested in. Uh, some special features to encourage students to use it, to make it more interesting, not just a boring library like the university library to study only. I'm just kidding. Um, so tell me a little bit about some of the special features that the library has at your school. Um, firstly, our library has won the best library for primary school in Chengainu. And our library also has um, a name. It is PSS Asia Al Yahya. Our students used to call it... Uh, our library as a library, but now they call it as PSS Asia Al uh, We also have Taman Laut along the corridor to the PSS Asia Al Yahya. And we also got uh, Bahter Inu, which is a boat which is fishermen used to caught a uh, fish. Uh, yeah. Now, the boat is used used for pupils' reads in that boat. They sit in the boat. Ah, yeah. uh, yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, our school have one program. Uh, named a day with PFS. A day with PSS, there will be a mascot named Sang Kang Chil. And the Sang Kang Chil will uh, give the pupils a book to, their, to them to read. And if the pupils already done read, 
we are reading. Um, they will call the Sankatya and change the book to get to read more book. If I may add on to the school programs, uh, besides all the things mentioned by the people, um, we as teachers make sure that uh, the school is a place where the pupils can get information. Um, for example, we use all the walls, the pillars, the staircase to put information. Like, uh, maybe it's, it's more for academics, but if they need the information, they can, they can go to the places and they can get information there. They don't, uh, or they don't have to go to us uh, to refer for information. And we make sure that the information are pasted on the wall, on the pillars, interest, interestingly, and with beautiful pictures, beautiful murals, so that it will encourage them to go and see and spend their time during recess to read. Even though if they only go and see one word a day, then I think that would be enough for the kids to build on their vocabulary. Okay, so it sounds like a very uh, um, Buy books at uh, the popular store, just anywhere. It's at the popular store. Well, I buy my, fa my favorite book is at the another state named Clampton. I buy it at KB Mall, SMO. And now SMO is here in Kuala Trinano. as well. So I can see in my years here more and more bookstores opening. Even Kuala Lumpur, you go back to the 1980s, Kuala Lumpur, there was only, I recall, Times Bookstore, and it wasn't very big. And now, you have some of the best bookstores in the world in Kuala Lumpur. I kid you not, because when I go back to Canada, I find titles in Malaysia, which you cannot find in Canada. There's a, a great diversity, but I, I'm sorry I interrupted. I want to hear from Kazuki, but I want to raise this, uh, this issue of where you buy books, because today you can buy books online. And uh, there are a few online bookstores that I go to, and I'm not talking about Amazon, the really big ones, because that's expensive. There are places where you can buy second-hand books online at a very low price with very low delivery charges, just a few dollars delivery charge in most cases from anywhere in the world. And as a teacher, I find lots of books I want to use in my classroom. And as a father, I find lots of books for my children and they're very inexpensive. So today, really, availability, it's very easy now online. Sorry. My Hazuki, favorite author is uh, John Grisham, and among of his books, I love his book entitled uh, The Rainmaker, it's about a lawyer. And I think what Mr. Kazuki said relate back to me, that when I first read book, when I was younger, it doesn't really give a lot of meaning to me. But later, when I found that book again, and I read it, and I see the books in different light. So maybe now they don't really like to read books, um, serious books. Um, but perhaps later, they will. Because the, the topic for each of us are different, based on our age. So, and what interests me as you were saying, the different culture in different country, um, the culture of reading. When I was in Malaysia, I, when before I went to Australia, I don't really think that reading culture in Malaysia is weak. But when I went there and I see, as you said, guards holding books and reading them every night, and it struck me that. You know, I don't even do that in my free time, waiting for my bus. So it changes me. And seeing that different culture, so I try to bring back the culture and try to make sure that um, I want to build the culture of reading in my family, in my pupils, so that they don't only wait or wait to read when they are told to read. Uh, that they want to read. <laughs> they want to read. 
Uh, there's another interesting observation, well, interesting for me, an observation I can see between Canadian households and Malaysian households. Canadian households, you'll find a bookshelf. You'll find many bookshelves, and they'll be full of books. Malaysian households, I don't think there are any bookshelves. That's the, that's the worst business to get into here in Malaysia, is selling bookshelves. Because uh, uh, you go around, just look at your friends' homes, and there's very few books in the home compared to what I'm used to in, in uh, North America. But I, I really feel that it's changing now, as the parents are getting educated, and they see that they need to read. When I was younger, my mom and my dad asked me to read the school books. No other books, but the school books. And when, when we read comics, we get scolded. And I think this needs to be changed. And what I do in my home is I start reading to my daughter. She's now four years old. Start to read, as said, start to read when they're young. And they, they will do that as a habit. And I see that these, these habits of reading in Malaysia are changing, but they need education about this. Okay, it's a, a very good observation. It's changing as uh, the, young, the, young, uh, the young children from 20 years ago are now parents and they've picked up through the education system the importance of reading. They're now transferring it to their children. And as you and Kazuki said, uh, starting very young is one of the keys, so it becomes part and parcel of that person. And one more thing, there's a key word, extensive reading. The importance of extensive reading is widely researched. And extensive reading is not reading your textbooks. It's you have to read your textbooks, but it is going beyond and reading beyond that. And now that we're talking about education uh, a little I bit. I have to take this opportunity as uh, my chance to say something for all. First, I would like to thank to Yuniza for this great event. This is a great opportunity for the pupils to extend their knowledge and experience. This will definitely motivate the students to be a greater person. Then, I would like to thank, of course, to Anji Ame, BTPN, and the crew, KPNT, Che Azman, for this wonderful program and international program such as it would never be, would never came without supporters from us. Thank you very much. Thanks all. Saya ingin bertanya kepada Puan, apa pendapat Puan tentang program SK Kemas Kali ini? Okay. Uh, terima kasih. Uh, sebenarnya saya uh, sebagai ketua pustakawan Yudiza, Yudiza Sultan Abidin, saya merasakan satu keiktirafan eh, bila pihak sekolah, pihak SK Kemas ini mengada uh, program perantarabasaannya uh, di universiti kami. Lah. Sebab Yudiza ini uh, kami ada ramai pelajar-pelajar antarabangsa yang boleh kita uh, kongsi bersama yang diselaraskan oleh pihak perpustakaan lah. Eh. Jadi macam program hari ini kami tengok dengan pandangan-pandangan uh, daripada uh, pelbagai negara. So saya merasakan pelajar-pelajar uh, boleh mendapatkan satu pandangan, satu panduan bagaimana negara-negara uh, lain uh, terlibat dalam pembacaan. Macam mana nak? memangkitkan apa ni apa reading habit di kalangan mereka dan di Malaysia contohnya kita patut merasa bangga kerana kerajaan membuka seluas-luasnya peluang supaya pelajar-pelajar ni rajin membaca kita, kalau kita tengok dan dan bila pelajar-pelajar datang pelajar juga boleh tengok macam mana universiti menyediakan ruang-ruang pembacaan perpustakaan kepada pelajar-pelajar lah dan kalau kita tengok tadi tu ada pelajar-pelajar daripada Nigeria kita patut rasa bersyukur sebab tempat kita lebih uh, nampaknya lebih baik daripada mereka dan kita sepatutnya mengambil peluang ni supaya kita lebih menambahkan uh, pembacaan kita uh, berbanding daripada negara-negara uh, mereka lah dan satu lagi kita tengok bagi negara-negara membangun seperti uh, Jepun jadi uh, kita rasa satu perbezaan uh, dia nampaknya sangat sangat ke depan dari sudut uh, pembacaan tu dan di Malaysia kita dengar tadi di antara ahli panel tadi dia mengatakan uh, tahun lepas uh, kita punya uh, pembacaan kita uh, seorang rakyat Malaysia tu hanya dua biji buku sah uh, sahaja satu tahun sekarang telah meningkat kepada lebih kepada lapan biji buku operatornya satu tahun dan kita nampak benda tu ada uh, ada uh, lebih baiklah 
dan kita mengharapkan pelajar-pelajar yang ada di sana tadi tu dia akan mengambil uh, satu apa kata tu iktibar lah supaya dia lebih membaca sebab dengan membaca sahaja sebenarnya kita boleh meningkatkan kemampuan kita tentang apa sahaja pembangunan negara ha, gitu okey okay. sama